currently 31 decimal 2 nautic miles away from waypoint 5, uh, which is going to be where we're crossing over into the Iranian airspace, uh, but keep in mind they're probably going to be sending interceptors up well before then. Spike 2 o'clock at 5. Let's go ahead and turn in for that. We're going to want to deal with those before we move any further. Two F5s. Okay. Just want to make sure that I'm scanning out to where I need to be. I'm going to go and go into a six bar scan. There's the target. Let's go and try to lock that up. Got a lock. Box two. Splash. Okay, and let's hope we get that second one. I want to get eyes on. I don't have a signature. I'm assuming he's in front of me here. Got a lock on something. Lost him again. There he is. Okay, and we got to be careful now. Because we are full load. So if I can just stay defensive and hopefully my wingman can splash this guy. Uh, actually, I don't know if I want my speed up this high because I'm having trouble maneuvering right now. And I lost eyes, unfortunately. That was my fault. At this point, since I don't have eyes, I'm on defensive. And that is an F5, a very angry F5 moving in for guns. I do not want him to get that opportunity. So I'm going to take a little bit of a risky move here and I'm going to disengage G limiter. I just want enough to make it so he can't get guns on me. And he's almost in a position. I'm actually going to see if I can let him pass by and get into the scissors. He's going burner now because he's going a little slow, which means he is not in the position. I'm going to be able to put him into the defensive. Let's get that vertical scan. Don't let my speed fall too far. Box two. Splash. Okay, beautiful. Both targets splashed. That was a lot harder than you'd think with this load, but it is possible, as you can see. All right, about 30 nautical miles to the target, so not much longer here as we go over the mountains. Pickle, and 
Pickle. Pull out. Second target site looks good as well. Alright, rolling in. Adjusting slightly. As soon as I'm in range, it'll give me that in range cue. There we go. And. So we're going to swap guns. I call that a successful strike, honestly. Let's uh, go ahead and turn out. Swap out to use tier points uh, 7. I gotta be careful with my fuel consumption. And before we are to be, I'm gonna go ahead and program in TACAN for the tanker. Probably gonna wanna turn it on first. 27 X ray. And then we can see him showing up on TACAN. His bearing, he's 211 for 70, and we have TKR for tanker. Uh, for instance, and uh, we have a SAM launch there. Looks to be defeated, but there's another mishal. Climbing hard, try to kill that missile's energy while I chaff. And we're gonna try to turn that bound. Another missile in the air. Looks like it might be going for my wingman. No more same launches are going to be coming, so I will see you guys once we're close to the tanker. Take it easy. Right now, I'm not focused on the basket itself. I'm focused on the tanker, and I'm not even worried about connecting to the basket at this point. I just want to make sure I'm in a stable formation with the tanker. Alright, feels pretty good on my end. So I'm going to go ahead and push. Again, not looking at the basket, looking at the tanker, and I'm going to ignore that. And that's what happens if you're not careful with your fuel. Uh, that was me looking at the basket. 
Gonna push forward just a little bit, raise altitude just a little bit, and right now it's just focusing on keeping with the tanker itself. Channel your inner Bob Ross. That's what you're looking for. I think he's pulling it back in. Yeah, so at this point, it looks like he's actually off station. I need to adjust the times for that. Uh, but, you know what? That's fine by me. We got plenty of fuel. Our buddy's down in the drink. Um, because he didn't watch his fuel as closely as we did. All good. So we're gonna go and swap back to the airfield steer point. And let's go and fly back. Not quite centered up. Let's go and adjust for that. Got quite a bit of a crosswind here. not actually that bad of a cross one. Just gonna need to make sure that we straighten out before we touch down. Vertical speed's a little high, but that should come down as we get closer here. A bit of stutter just before the landing. Ah, oh, great. So yeah, combination of the crosswind and nose wheel steering uh, gave me a little bit of sidewaysness on the runway, but other than that, we're good.